So the first proper glance, and it's um, it's a bit more impressive than I expected. Welcome to Whitley Court and Gardens. This is the picnic area. Through the trees up here, you can see the courts. Whitley Court and Gardens. I hope it's as good as it suggests. I've no idea where this leads. I'm assuming it leads to the correct place eventually. I think it's the only path, isn't it? But There's another way that goes around to a play area, but whether that. There we go. So, Whitley Court's to the left, and the Wilderness Garden. So, that was the correct way through, wasn't it? This is all nicely done. It's a proper maze of um, pathways, isn't it? Hear the wind blowing through the trees as well, which is nice. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> nice little dam. That's not wind. Nice sound of running water. Suddenly, get the wind coming across the lake. It's a nice view down to what I'm guessing they would have had as an ornamental lake. So, compare the view of Whitley Court today. So, from 1810 to today. Have a look through the window of the, of the doors of the crypt. Unfortunately, closed today. That's impressive. I do like. Do they say it was copper or brass on the top? That is just so impressive. So they said this gives a good impression of how the house would have looked inside as well. These carvings are really nice. I thought I'd read when the, the fire in 1937. Yeah. I thought I'd read that it had destroyed all, all of the wood, etc., in the house. Now the lady up there suggested the fire wasn't really very bad, and a lot of the, lot of the ornate, ornate stuff was sold off after. What's true and what's not, you know? Well, so, if you actually go into the building itself, you will see the physical evidence. So, on the east part, so the left side, you will see 
a lot of parts of these parts of the building, <laughs> you will see the wood and you can see how it's been blackened and charred. But yeah. then you can see around the rest of it, the wood hasn't been affected in this way. So okay. what happened is during the fire, because of a change in wind direction, only that half of the building got right. actually burnt through. And the other half of the building was still lived in for a little bit until it was sold off to an auctioneer and then everything was stripped and sold out and that's I kind see. of how it's been remained today. So okay. yeah, a bit of both really. Both. <laughs> So it's this end that was destroyed by fire. Whereas the other side over there wasn't. That's a very eerie bell striking quarter two. So you can see evidence in there of where the fire was. That's uh, obviously all burnt wood. So this fountain here is the one that doesn't work. The toll that Originally, it would have had well over 200 individual spouts and it would have been gravity fed. Not quite sure where from, but that would have been spectacular. And the reason it's not currently working is apparently that's going to take five million pounds to restore. And obviously, I haven't got the money at the moment. Perseus and Andromeda Fountain. The Baroque style Perseus and Andromeda Fountain designed by William Andrews Nesfield and carved by sculptor James Forsyth in about 1858-59. So it's fed from a pond on higher ground, gravity fed. There is now a pump house, but the pipes took water to the fountain, to the main jet, and it went up over 120 feet. We were told that this is the biggest fountain pool in the world. See one person walking around it, give you a sense of scale. Although we were told this, this is the biggest fountain pool, I think um, the Bellagio Hotel in Las Vegas would argue that. Perhaps it's a different design and doesn't count, but that is on a different scale altogether. Now the carving in the middle is carved from one piece of stone, and that one piece carving is the biggest one piece carving in Europe. But this is gorgeous. So English Heritage have done a really good job, as you can see, the house behind me. They've uh, restored the fountain, they've created really nice woodland walks, a uh, nice picnic area, there is a good cafeteria. Um, they've made safe the house, although they haven't tried to restore it. But yeah, really peaceful, really nice place to come. Well worth a visit. So I'm currently waiting until the top of the hour because that's when they run this fountain, so I'm looking forward to that. I believe it runs for about 15 minutes. That should be impressive. Quiet. Oh, there's a dribble. So when's the rest of it's going to start? Oh, the middle one's going now. So this currently has 90 or so jets and originally it would have had 140? 144, I think they said. Uh, central jet, I believe originally could have reached up to 120 foot high. So listen to the sound of that fountain. It's just there, you've got the balconies coming off of probably what would have been the bedrooms and that would have given them this view How nice is that? Right, let's take a walk up inside So English Heritage have made the house safe 
but not restored it, as you can tell. So this photograph was taken of this area in 1920. Look at it now. Very different. So a little bit of the original plaster. And a lot more of it. The detail up here. Amazing, so all of this probably would have been under cover originally. So a photograph of this room 1920 compared to now. more 1920s photographs and now this original plaster work and you can see the wooden behind I can't remember what this technique's called it shows there's a gap between the wall and the plaster so this is clearly the part of the house that didn't burn it's just been left to decay evidence of a stairway that went down yeah so obviously it went up to there so i think that here that arch there is that second arch up and these tiles are nice a little bit dirty it'd be good if they were polished up and get the impression of what they would be like because it's wet No remnants of a spiral staircase. So this is fascinating. This is a photograph taken in 1860. You can see the conservatory in front of us. We've got all the windows in it. Now they're gone. see bits down through here that's a lot more ruined there's an awful lot more of the house to see that you can't actually get to which is a shame maybe in years to come they'll restore it enough or make it safe that would have continued all the way around and look very different It's only a small amount of water, isn't it? Yeah, sounds, sounds small, doesn't it?